Well, initially, I didn't, I didn't have any plans to do a solo album, but um, because of my uh, health issues, my uh, cancer diagnosis, um, and the fact that the world was on a lockdown and uh, there, were, there wasn't anything I could do besides that, and, and also very importantly to occupy myself, have something, you know, to occupy myself with something that focus on something positive and try to put the bad things away. So um, that that's that's why I started doing a solo album and decided to do it. Well, as I said, you know, the songs were uh, basically I would say like seventy percent of the of the songs of the album. It was brand new, written last spring, around last spring, spring of 2020. And then I had a lot of ideas, which I actually still do, uh, that, um, so I like, you know, as I listened to some of the old ideas and I had, or maybe I took a bridge part from, from an old idea and glued it together with a, with a new song. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's how it all came about. Recording process were, were, were pretty weird compared to what I've done in the past because we always used to, you know, write the songs and go into the you know, rehearsal room and do some pre-production and then go into the studio. But this time, it, what was really weird was the fact that I was diagnosed with cancer, uh, stage four, and uh, I didn't really know. Uh, I wasn't too sure if I was going to be alive when this album actually came out. So we, so we did it this way that uh, Chris Laney, who's producing the album, um, uh, said, well, you just send your stuff from the iPhone, you, you send me your ideas and stuff, and then I'll do the instrumentation. And then he sent it back to me. We did like a demo of it and uh, sent it back to me and I did the vocals. Um, and then sent it back to Chris uh, up in Stockholm. And uh, then we started the real instrumentation of the songs. Uh, so, but I, I, I wanted to do the vocals first, so I was sure that I got that done. So it was, um, it was a little, I felt like I was racing with time and, um, and had like a dagger hanging above my head. So it, it was pretty surreal, but it worked. And it, actually the, the whole progress went really, really smooth. And lyrically, lyrically, this album is um, it's probably, the, for obvious reasons, it's, 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 it's the most personal album I've ever done uh, because of my situation. Uh, some of the songs are like uh, very, very personal, emotional, a little melancholic, I guess you can say. Um, but as I said, for obvious reasons, uh, uh, like the, the song like One Shot uh, is actually, the title track is, is like about seize the day, we got to live in the right here and now. That, that's, that's what the song is about. So that's the message. And, and in, a, in, a, in a way that's, I guess that's positive. We don't, don't save the best for, la you know, for later. You know, um, a song like Real is, is also like uh, personal. It's kind of reflecting on my life, looking back on my life and, and what I achieved and, and how I feel. I mean, it was hard to write about Dungeons and Dragons when you're in a situation that I was in and partly still am. I'm still in that situation, kind of, but uh, yeah. I know a lot of people in the business. I could have uh, asked a lot of people, but the thing is that uh, Chris has uh, got his own project called The Movies, which I also participated in on one song. So we actually, so he suggested, them, well, why don't we use the same core of people that plays in at the movies? And I said, I mean, sure, let's go ahead, man. It, I mean, it, it's brilliant musicians and singers, you know. So I mean, we got, uh, and I, that's two of my ex Pretty Mates members, Morten Senna and Alan Sorensen. Um, we got got a uh, Pontus Ekberg on bass, who plays with King Diamond, and uh, and a, a Pontus Norgreen uh, on the guitar, who plays in Hammerfall. Uh, there's a lot of great guitarists actually. That Chris knew, Key Marcello as well, and my good friend Oliver Hartman from Aventasia, who um, actually visited me last summer. He came up for a weekend, and uh, and he said, "Well, I'd love to play on, the, on some of the songs." You know, so um, he said, "Well, go ahead." So I sent him a couple of songs that he plays on. Uh, but I mean, and then we got a backing vocals by the first time I'm, I'm actually uh, having a female vocalist on an album, Linnea Wikström, Ake, uh, and she's doing an absolutely amazing job. Sounds like a gospel choir, you know, she's great at arranging and, uh, but I mean, all the musicians uh, in this project have, has done a, an absolutely great job. I'm really, really, really happy for, for the result of it. And the recording of the album and, and the production of the album was done by my good friend Chris Laney, who um, has done an absolutely amazing job. Uh, has a good set of ears and uh, has really, uh, he, he was literally the guy that, that, that 
gave me a kick in the butt and said, let's go, let's go for this, you know. So, but, uh, and uh, it's been so smooth working with him and uh, absolutely great. Um, and the album uh, was mixed by uh, Jacob Hansen, who I've worked with for the last, I think I've more or less done all the vocals with him the last 10, 11 years since we did the Pandemonium album back then. And, uh, and Jacob again, he never disappoints. Just, uh, you know, really, really nailed it on this album. So it's always been great working with these familiar faces again. Well, the future is, um, anyway, the, the future is pretty uncertain. I mean, I don't have any plans about touring right now because first of all, I don't, I don't know where I am six months from now or whatever. And uh, partly because of my own health situ situation and but also because of the lockdown, the COVID-19. Nobody really knows when they open up for concerts again, but um, I have a big dream that I'll be back on stage in some constellation at some point. That's my big wish. And, um, and besides that, I've, I've started writing, I'm still writing songs, and then maybe I'll do another album. Let's see what, let's see what happens. Future is pretty unpredictable, particularly in my case, I guess. But I'm positive, I'm still here. <laughs>